Okay, so today's video was supposed to be all about all of my camera gear, not camera gear, but audio gear. <laughs> but I figured, listen, I needed to solve a few things that is wrong with this room before we actually get into doing some audio tests. But hey, check this out. I've actually started already. So I actually already started making my own acoustic foam here. Well, I didn't make it, but we've I purchased it. Now this is project foam from a place called Joann's. It's, a, it's a, like a craft store. You can go to any craft store and get foam. Now I picked this particular foam simply just because it's fire resistant. I know like there's so many foams out there that you can buy that are fairly cheap, but this was not super expensive, but it was like 20, 30 bucks a piece. And I have four of them. And the good thing about them, they're fire resistance. They're three inches thick. And I think they've been doing the job pretty well. But the thing is, we have to do more. Okay, so that's one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Okay, so this fourth one that was on the ground will go right here. Let's see if I can put this up right here. Yeah, there we go. It will go there. I will actually make sure it doesn't fall. But you get the point. Fourth one will go there, but that leaves still quite a bit of space that I need to address when it comes to uh, knitting acoustic foam. As you can hear, there's still quite a bit of an echo in here, but I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna to get to ordering some things. So the plan is to address all of this empty space up here on my ceiling as much as possible within reason, and then to address the TV and that empty space right up in, on top of the TV there. And one of the final places that I want to address, well, not the last, but this closet here, what I'm thinking about doing is putting some command strips here with the hooks, buying a legitimate, legitimate sound blanket that's large enough to fit over this entire space, or maybe I need two. Not 100% sure how that's gonna work, but that'll probably be the most expensive part of uh, me trying to treat this acoustically for addressing the echo in the room. Uh, last but not least, this space right here, I will try to uh, figure out some artwork, uh, some acoustic artwork or something like that to make sure I am trying to cover as much space uh, or as much bare wall as possible. Um, I'm gonna look into some acoustic artwork. There's plenty of it on Amazon. Okay, so here's the plan. I have ordered two packs of 16 by 12. Uh, the only caveat is they're half an inch, they're not an inch, but they're high density foam. So they're white. They're white, 16 by 12, high density foam. Uh, the purpose for these are to go on the ceiling. I didn't want something that was super thick, like a one inch or a two inch. To me, that would just protrude a little bit too much and be an eyesore. So I kind of wanted to match what I had up here. There's a white ceiling. So I wanted to make it uh, kind of blend in as much as possible. I've also ordered some base traps. I ordered eight base traps. Now, listen, these base traps were pretty cheap. They're probably not made from the best material, but again, the whole point is to keep this cheap and to uh, get rid of the echo, that's it. I'm not trying to have a professional style set up here. It's just to address the echo in the room to give us a, a better sounding place to work with. Okay, so right now you are listening to me on the Sennheiser 416. Um, we're going directly into the FX3. So just so you can see, FX3 going directly, uh, and the Sennheiser is going directly into the FX3. Now, I simply did this because it's the easiest way to get you to listen uh, because shotgun microphones, in particular shotgun microphones like the Sennheiser 416, are very good at pointing out issues in your in your room. It will pick up audio and it picks it up very well. So 
listen very closely. This is what it's going to sound like before we do our fix of the room. So listen, listen very good, okay? Listen, listen to the echo. Now, this microphone is really close to my face, so yeah, I don't want to talk too loud because it's just going to clip and I won't be able to save that footage. So listen, listen good. Hello, hello, hello. This is a microphone test. This is our before we've pre this is our before we've treated the room with our cheap acoustic foam. Okay. Again, this is our pre-treated room with maybe three panels on the wall, three inch panels on the wall. Well, very cheap stuff, by the way. Again, before this is our before we've actually went ahead and added more sound panels, okay? Okay, so now we have addressed uh, some of the space in this room. We've put some sound panels on the roof or the ceiling, and we've added a few more sound panels on the wall right in front of me. Hopefully you can hear a difference. I don't know. <laughs> now, okay, just for reference, we are still using the 416. Let me get back into the microphone. We're using the 416, and it's still going into the FX3. Nothing has changed. Um, the only thing that has changed is sound panels on the top of the ceiling here. And then we have sound panels right in front of me. Uh, three new sound panels right above the TV. And then we have our bass traps, which probably aren't doing much of anything, <laughs> to be honest, uh, right in the two corners there. Um, again, this is a cheap setup. I'm not expecting miracles. So if it does reduce the echo, which... I mean, it sounds like it a little bit. It does sound like it a little bit. It sounds like we have reduced the, the, the echo a good amount. It's not gone. That's the thing. It's not gone, which I wasn't really expecting it to be gone. And also, um, just to be completely uh, transparent, <laughs> um, I did not even address the closet walls here or the closet doors simply because I really got to thinking and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be coming from this direction where well, the camera will be facing direction here against this wall. And well, this closet will be right in the shot. So it really wouldn't make sense to put a huge sound blanket there. Like I might be able to get away with putting a sound blanket in front of the or behind the camera, but not in front of the camera. Like to me, that would just look a little tacky and weird. That there's a huge blanket that's a little you know it's not professional <laughs> could use other words but you know anyways we'll keep it pg around here um but yeah okay let's go back and forth hello 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 this is a microphone test this is our before we've pre this is our before we've treated the room with our cheap acoustic phone in our audio this is a sound test testing one two three Testing one, two, three. Hopefully we have greatly reduced the echo in the room. Hello, hello, hello. This is a microphone test. This is our before we've pre this is our before we've treated the room. This is a sound test. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hopefully we have greatly reduced the echo in the room. Hopefully I will have to go back and listen. Um, but again, to my ears now. There is a noticeable difference. If it's a huge difference, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, this microphone is far more sensitive than my ears currently are right now. So it will be able to pick up quite a, a bit more frequencies uh, than, I, than I can personally hear. So, who knows? I'm going to cut the video short here. Hopefully, we made a difference in this room. And hey, if we didn't, it's not that big of a deal. Um... It, you know, it's cheap stuff. So this is what you pay for. <laughs> if you want high quality sound, you have to pay for high quality material. And, you know, I just honestly wanted to see if we could make a difference. If I can continue to make a difference with cheaper material, I'll keep going that route. But eventually we will get to the point where we will just flat out address the echo in the room. And um, we'll have to spend a little bit more money. 
But okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully this was a tiny bit entertaining. If not, thumbs down, thumbs up, doesn't really matter. <laughs> I just want to get back in the swing of making videos on a consistent basis. Okay, cool. See you guys in the next one.